Hi there, I'm Joanna Sansom. I'm one of the library supervisor team at ASOL. Um, I'd like to share today a couple of meditation and mindfulness techniques. What I find to be really useful is to try and work these into a daily routine. So you do either one of, or the other every day. And what they do is they get you out of your head, get you into your body, get you into the present moment. And I find them to be very calming. So they help with anxiety, with stress. Um, yeah, and I find them to be really helpful and I hope you do too. So the first one I'd like to describe is a walking meditation. And this can be done on a walk anywhere. It's particularly lovely if you've got the chance at the moment to walk in nature. So if you're taking your daily exercise in a park or gardens, this is absolutely lovely to do, but it can equally be done anywhere. So, you know, walk into the supermarket, um, yeah, any sort of short walk. This is a really nice thing to do um, just to make you feel nice and calm and ready for the day. So the first step is try to turn down whatever's going through your head. Now, if you try and kind of squash your thoughts, they do tend to come back. So what I like to do is just visualise a volume switch and imagine just turning it down. Now for me, I've always got a song in my head, so I usually just try and tap into what's going through my head, whatever song it is. Um, but this works just as well if, you're, if you've got particular thoughts, you know, very circular thoughts running through your mind, um, especially if you're stressed out. So just try to visualise a volume switch and you're just gonna turn them down. Now the next thing, the next step is to do a body scan. Now, all that involves is just going through your body in your mind and just focusing on each part of your body in turn from your head to your toes. And all you're going to do is just notice any tension in your body. Now, it's often enough just to notice the tension, but what you can also do is visualise softening that part of your body. So, for example, I start with my head. I think, do I have a headache? Um, am I particularly stressed out? Have I got a million thoughts going through my head? And I try and just soften some of that tension. And I go to my shoulders. You might be carrying a heavy bag. Um, you know, are there any knots in my stomach? One that is affecting me a lot at the moment, and probably some of you too, where we're sitting still a lot of the time, is that my legs tend to ache. Um, on the flip side, if I've been on my feet a lot, I might have pain in my feet. So just go through and just try and soften any tension in your body. And then the third stage is really just to engage your senses. So as you're walking, just think about what you can see, what you can hear, anything you can smell. Um, you can also engage your sense of touch. So it's quite nice to just think about how your body feels in your clothes, how your feet feel in your shoes, um, feeling the ground through your shoes as you're walking. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You can do this in a very structured way if this helps. When I first started to do walking meditation, I did this in a very kind of systematic way. Um, at the time, I had a 20 minute walk from the station to the place I worked. So what I did was I'd assign a certain block to each sense. So I'd say, OK, so walking up to this road, I'm going to think about what I can see. And then when I get to this road, to this road, I'm going to think about what I can hear. Now, as I've been doing it for a while, I feel that I can do it a bit more organically. So I just look out for things. I listen out for things. Um, I see if there's any particular smells in the air. I think about my feet on the ground. So it's just quite a nice thing to to tap into, um, particularly listening, listening out and looking for anything natural. So any trees or plants um, bird song is lovely. But equally, you can listen for things in yourself. So you can listen to your own footsteps. That can be very calming and grounding. Um, the rustle of your bag as you're walking, that sort of thing. Um, the air might just smell cold or warm, or you might be able to smell plants. So, yeah, it's really just a case of tapping into your senses and try and do that for the duration of your walk. And then the only thing you need to do at the end, when you get to your destination, is just tap into your body again and just notice how you're feeling and um, notice if the meditations made you feel calmer um, any sensations any change in thought processes in your head 
Um, yeah, so that's it really for the walking meditation. Now the other one I'm going to share is just a bit of mindfulness really. Um, and you can do this while doing any task. Really, again, it's just a case of getting out of your head, getting into your body, into the present moment, calming you down. And the example I'm going to use is doing the washing up because um, at the moment we're all in lockdown and constantly eating and washing up after ourselves. So I find myself washing up a lot at the moment. Um, so yeah, you can start with the same process, try and turn down your thoughts, notice any tension in your body and soften any tension. And again, it's just about engaging your senses. So for example, if you're washing up, it will be the sound of the water, the feel of the weight of things in your hands, the smell of the washing up liquid and this is quite a pleasant one and it can turn quite a mundane task into something a bit nicer that makes you feel calm and hopefully happy um yeah so that's kind of it really and yeah when you finish doing your mindfulness again tap into your body see how you feel see if your body feels more settled see if your thoughts have slowed down a bit and yeah that's all so i hope you find those to be helpful and take care of yourselves. Thanks a lot.